Yoop. Um, so there's our reference image right here in the uh, in the upper left. Uh, I'm actually going to zoom out on that a little bit for the moment so that I can fit more of the canvas on the screen. Um, so uh, I don't, uh, I'm not one of those people who is good at drawing from their imagination. Uh, so I draw from reference images. I do uh, primarily contour drawings. Um, and so that's what I'm going to do here is uh, we're going to go ahead and here, let me kind of futz with my microphone a bit so I don't, um, I'll try to, I'll try to keep this as, uh, as possible. Start. Mm -hmm. I've got this like bottom kind of curve down here at the bottom, bottom eyelid. It's sort of a gentle, gentle little curve. Um, and then we've got, uh, this kind of actually stretches a little bit past here. And, you know, we'll kind of go up and clean this later. Uh, Uh, it kind of swoops up like that. Actually, that's not quite right um, because of the perspective that this is. Uh, you know, we're going to see actually it kind of is steeper on this side. Uh, and then it comes down a little longer over there. And we're going to get, we're going to get, I do a lot of these, these sketchy lines that I go back and clean up afterwards. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some of that annoying way outer boundary that's like way the heck away from the place that we were because that's just gonna that's gonna drive me nuts um and so this is this is really just our inner eye right like and so kind of over here right is sort of the bounds of the actual eye right you know over there you've got kind of a um actually that's much too large <laughs> now that i'm looking at it um right you've got this kind of like little pocket of the inside um, that isn't isn't really part of the actual eyeball itself, um, and over here, you know, we've got these. We've actually got the iris. Now this, uh, I kind of started to draw the circle that is uh, that is the iris too big. It actually kind of swoops down here, and yeah, like that. That, that's much nicer there because kind of the bottom of it, it doesn't extend all the way down past the lower lid. Now I didn't actually, this is a, um, this actually kind of comes out a little bit more here and uh, down a little bit more over on, on this side where we actually, let me go ahead and erase some of this and, and clean some of this up because I definitely didn't quite, this comes out all the way sort of uh, over here and then comes in before it comes to the top and then sort of comes out like this and around um, and down. That's a little bit more like what we've got going on in our reference. I get a little bit pedantic about these sorts of things when I'm picking this up because I really am like I'm trying to kind of get better. Now, one of the things that I always try to mark ahead of time when I'm doing these is, you know, the eye highlights, right? Like you have your um, uh, your pupil right in the center, of that like big dark black spot. But you look and there's kind of all this reflection. And typically I only sort of like capture just like a little bit of the reflection. And so we've got this kind of like window shape here that the the pupil kind of comes around from. So you know, let's get a nice more circular thing and not, not this like weird flattened thing that I've introduced here. That's, I know how round things work. I studied computational geometry, uh, right? And then, you know, this actually, I always do this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shade this in just, you know, adding curved lines around to kind of fill this in and increase the value of this area as we just add more curved lines. And that's going to give us, um, right. So we're not, we're not basically doing a paint bucket fill here. That's not really 
um, how color application works in a lot of cases. And I, you know, I do sketchy things. Um, I like to do pencil drawings or digital pencil drawings. Um, so what I want to preserve here is this kind of um, the texture gives you uh, gives you some of the circular feel that you're looking for from circular objects. And so if the uh, if the shading that you're doing is uh, line shading on something that's curved, then um, you know, in in my opinion, it doesn't uh, it doesn't look quite the way that I'm going for, right? So like this this actually it looks kind of spirally from sort of close up. Um, but you know, if I go ahead and kind of zoom back out, right? Like it doesn't um, doesn't look that weird. Uh, and if I if I continue with this and and sort of shade it in more and more and more and get it darker and more like the the black, uh, you know, the the full dark color that you see in a pupil. And I'm I'm actually going to get like a just a little bit uh, reckless and sketchy with this in the interests of of filling the space in and filling the color in faster. Um, you know, doing these spirals instead of just those like sweeping curves from before, uh, then eventually as you get it darker and darker and denser and denser, you're going to see that from farther away, it's going to look more and more and more like, uh, you know, like, like that kind of uniform, a uniform darker color that is more along the lines of what you want. And it's not going to look completely uniform, right? Because uh, if it did, then it wouldn't have any texture. Um, but we are going to go ahead and we'll shade that in a little bit more and then I'll kind of move on from this uh, once I'm sort of happy with, uh, yeah, I'm not totally happy with the shape of it, but that's okay. I don't want to spend too, too much time on this. Um, and then we'll just go ahead and give this a little bit more. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Okay. Um, now a big thing with eyes um, is that a lot of the detail, uh, oops, around them uh, matters kind of a lot, right? So like that, that upper eyelid um, crease that you've got kind of going on over here um, really adds a lot, um, a lot of sense uh, of, of what the shape that you're looking at is, right? Like we're not just looking at the shape of an eyeball itself. Usually we're, we're really kind of looking at everything around it. And the thing that gives that, I asked an artist I think relatively recently, a pixel artist actually, like how they make things look like what they're supposed to look like. And basically they said, you know, you're, you're trying to replicate something in 3D uh, on, you know, kind of a 2D image. And so you basically have to give the illusion <laughs> by providing enough context, right? And so like this looks much more eye-like now that it has that upper crease to it, right? Um, but it still doesn't look quite right. Um, I think it's probably, it was probably a little bit hard to see. Let me, let me go ahead and zoom that and get that, like, see, like, this is what it looks like. Let me go ahead and get those lines a little bit darker so that you y'all can see them better on the camera. I'll try to get a, a capture set up for this, I think for next time so that it's a little bit easier to see what's going on on the screen. Um, but I do, I like this like feeling of, you know, you're, you're actually seeing what my hands are doing as, as I'm working on this. Uh, I kind of like the, the, the intimacy of that. But so that's, that's kind of what we look, what we're looking like so far, right? I think probably actually if I go in and erase, you know, some of this mess over here, Oop, wrong layer, Boop. Um, right, we'll, we'll end up with something that looks, I think, a little bit, a little bit cleaner and a little bit more like our reference. Um, just get that curve looking not like crap again um yeah and I think that's that's a little bit better yeah I actually like that a lot more um the other big thing with eyes is eyelashes <laughs> oh my gosh eyelashes are such a pain um and there's really kind of nothing that you can do about that um because they're just lots of little sweepies. Um, and I think the most important thing with eyelashes is to remember two things. One is that eyelashes clump together, right? You're not making just like lots of little uniform sweepies, um, right? Eyelashes separate from each other into, uh, into clumps, especially if your model is wearing mascara, um, or something like that. Um, and a lot of, in fact, eye models are wearing mascara. 
Um, you know, they're not like extremely uniform clumps most of the time. Um, so, you know, you don't have to be, uh, actually this is, this is not a really good rendition here. Um, but, uh, it is, uh, it is kind of important, uh, to remember that you, you are going to get, um, you are going to get clumps. Um, the other thing that's important is, uh, that, uh, eyelashes kind of like sweep from the line around the eyelid and into uh right like there's like an, an arc here of where they end up sitting um and so if you make them into a line kind of as they sweep um it's gonna it's gonna look really weird but then as you come around on the rear of the you know on the you know as you're coming around farther away from the point of view right those lashes actually go and cover part of the eye right and they kind of run all the way and if you're you're paying attention to kind of where the eye starts and stops you're going to end up with this really nice uh really nice lash sweep across that like doesn't look too pronounced um but adds a lot uh adds a lot to your eyes Right. And like these, these didn't curve up enough. This, this person just has really curved eyelashes. I have, I have no idea what, like, what sort of like presenting, what sort of presentation this person has. Um, I could not tell you if this is supposed to be a quote unquote male or a quote unquote female eye, but, um, but they have nice swoopy eyelashes. That's for sure. And then bottom eyelashes are short. Um, they're, they're actually like pretty sparse. Um, so you just want to kind of give a little bit of like spaced kind of fringed darkness almost, um, depending on kind of where you are, if you're, if you're trying to go for something that's, that's a little bit more, uh, realistic. And then the other thing of course, is that like, as your perspective changes, they're kind of going to sweep more this way. I actually even let, let them kind of drift a little too far down go ahead and scrap a bunch of that <laughs> right um you know kind of as you get over here it just sort of like sweeps outward that way in more of like a line toward the camera and it doesn't really look like that much um and so now we've kind of got um i'm actually going to line shade the iris um because i want it to to be noticeably different uh, in terms of uh, tone and texture from the much darker uh, pupil. Um, and so we're just going to line shade this real quickly. We're just going to, we're not even going to cross thatch it. We're just going to do these like diagonal lines um, like this. And there is our eye. <laughs>